science teachers all over do hands-on activities. I'm not unique or special in that, but I feel like the way I do it is I make that the first thing instead of the last thing. Instead of making these activities a culminating project for something they've already learned, I like to have them do the experimentation to learn the concepts. But I don't like to spend a lot of time in class uh, doing the busy work, having them watch a video or fill in notes or whatever it might be. Those things have some value, but they don't necessarily have the value of being able to use me as a resource as they're doing something. Yesterday, you measured the potatoes and uh, found their mass, and then you put them in different levels of salt water from no salt water all the way up to very strong salt water. We want to find out what happened to your potatoes because what happens to your potatoes is probably what happens to cells in general. So we're going to try to find out what that is. Okay, ready? Salt. Ew. Ew, you like Ooh, I don't it. think salt water was good for that. Uh -uh. It which one looks a little uh, gross, doesn't it? You want a soggy fresh So that was <laughs> only salt water. <laughs> That's, it didn't change. That was the pure salt water? The 20%? Okay, 20% yeah. That's very strong salt water. So what are you observing? Uh, so, so, so he wouldn't even like weigh. Like, like, they don't weigh anything. anything. They're so light that they don't even register on the balance? Wow, yeah. okay. Oftentimes when students hear the word rigor or challenge, they automatically exclude the word fun and excitement. And Dr. Lamon does a great job of bringing her personality into the classroom and allowing students uh, to experience fun and excitement in the classroom when they're doing real world activities. She allows and encourages students to make mistakes in the classroom and that it's okay to make mistakes and oftentimes we learn more through our mistakes uh, than we learn through our successes. Uh, in my discussions with students they have said that uh, she creates a nice balance of rigorous instruction uh, very detailed instruction along with lab work and hands-on STEM activities and so they can learn the principles and what she's teaching about in class and then actually get their hands on it and experience it which helps them grasp those concepts better. Dr. Lemon's science class is different than other science classes because um, again it gives you a bit more elbow room. She gives you a lot of responsibility too. Uh, we have a lot of materials that we can use um, in our portable Nanya. We can go in and take whatever we need. There's a lot more hands-on instead of just taking notes. So to purify the salt water, our solution was pervaporation. And pervaporation is a method for separating mixtures in a solid from a liquid from solids <laughs> through a ceramic <laughs> or polymeric membrane. And the benefits are it's faster, it's cleaner, and more energy efficient. So basically what it is, so if it's like you have solids and mixtures, so like when the hurricane said there was like debris and stuff that could be found in their water, so it would like go through the membrane, so it would kind of sift it out so that the liquid was there, and then it would like evaporate because there's like some energy that's used in it, and then it would go like through some sort of vacuum pump thing so that it just has the water by itself, so it would be cleaner to use, so then... <laughs> get the salt out and it would be yeah. able to being you would be able to drink it. Okay, so the there's a boiling part of this you said? Yeah, there's some energy that's used. Okay. In it. Is that how you get rid of microbial? Yes. yes. Okay. I really really thrive and believe in the value of making students love school, love science and be willing to to try hard to make those things fun. Mm -hmm.